Hi, in this video we're going to take a closer look at refraction in the Ripple tank. Of all the phenomena that you can demonstrate in the Ripple tank, refraction tends to be the most troublesome. Refraction only occurs when the depth of water on top of your shape is very, very shallow. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through in detail how to get the best image of refraction from your LaSalle Ripple tank. From the tank we're going to use the angled refractor, a plane dipper, and in addition to that we're going to use some surfactant, this is just plain old washing up liquid, and we're going to use a small syringe. So as usual we're going to half fill the tank with water, there we go, and we're going to put the angled refractor in the bottom corner of the tank in this orientation, just like that. We want to add more water until we just cover the surface of the shape. Lovely. It's at this point that we want to try and break down all the surface tension in the water, and for that we're going to use our washing up liquid. You don't need very much, a small amount on the end of the finger is fine. The most important thing here is not to create bubbles in the water. So I'll just wipe this around the edges of the tank where the water meets the beach, and also over the surface of the shape. Now at this point, if we close the lid with the dipper installed and turn the tank on, this is what you'll probably see when you first attempt refraction. There is very little difference between the waves that are on top of the shape and the waves that aren't. And that's due to the water being too deep on top of the shape. So we can correct that by opening the lid up taking our syringe and removing water from the top of the shape. Extracting it from the top of the shape ensures you don't go too low. Close the lid and have a look. We need to remove some more. Okay, you can just about start to see some refraction taking place but we can get it better than this by again removing slightly more water from the top of that shape. Okay, it's very clear now. We can go further and make it even more dramatic. But there is a trade-off. The shallower the water on top of the shape, the less penetration the waves have over it. So while the refraction is very clear, the wave pattern on the rest of the shape is less so. And you just have to find a happy medium where the refraction is being shown well, and you can see the wave propagation well also. The most important thing really here is to ensure the tank is level. If the water is at a slight angle on top of the shape, you'll have shallow regions and um, deep regions, and this causes problems. With a bit of luck, this will give you a good idea on how to create good looking refraction waves in your ripple tank. Thanks for watching.